Okay. So we're going to finish off the Panzer III. Uh, there's just a few little ejection marks under the fender here. We need to fill it. And then we'll paint in black because we won't be able to get to it later. It's going on the top there. That's where the aerial goes, I think. So then the tops of these screw to the metal base, which is a bit naff, but it's okay. The front just needs a little bit of filling. Yeah, so there's no side, there's no photo etch in this kit at all. And they didn't even provide any plastic grills for the side vents. So uh, I got a bit of wire mesh. Um, it's easy to cut with the scissors, cut it to size, um, and then just use that instead. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it's obviously not as good as photo etch, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> a few bits going on. Assembling the mantlet here, put that all together. Stick machine gun in. I just painted the back of the spaced armour because I won't be able to get to it later. So you can't see it. Yeah, now the gun barrel is uh, it's a lovely, <coughs> excuse me, it's a lovely little gun barrel, um, but then they, they stick this bit on the end. Um, so, you, so it looks like it's hollow, but then you're going to get a join, which is not going to look good. So I thought, well, if I cut the pip off and then drill the end out, um, I think that's going to look better. So we just make a little indentation here uh, and then drill it out. You don't have to go very deep. Uh, it looks, looks pretty good. Looks a lot better. And you've got a lovely smooth gun barrel then. Yeah, of course it's a bit shorter without the bit stuck on the end, so that goes up against the stop, just pull it out a bit. Okay, a uh, Vallejo grey undercoat first. Uh, and then uh, put the base yellow down. Yeah, doing the highlight, even what I've done here, when the camouflage is added and you do all the weathering, it, it, it just vanishes, it's amazing. So I think uh, you can really exaggerate it at this stage depending on how much weathering you're doing I guess So that looks quite extreme there, but uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how much it vanishes. Yeah, so the, the, the camo here started to do that, and then my battery ran out, so I didn't manage to get uh, any of that videoed. the finished pattern I've got on it. Uh, the grey there looks quite light. Um, I did go over it with a with a darker grey in, in some of the shades. 
but um, yeah, I think it, it could have been done. It, it would have been better being a bit darker. Uh, but I'm doing the pin wash now. I just use the acrylics. Um, it seems to work well. Just put a little bit of water first and it runs along really nicely. The paint that I'm using is 80% thinner, 20% paint as well, so that, that makes it flow well. Just use the foam, um, the sponge. I, I do make sure that there is hardly any paint on that sponge at all. So you only get a little bit going on each time you go to the model and then just build it up. First, sort of the white on the transfers was standing out a bit, so I just gave him a a dull filter just to tone him down. Now this retarder is brilliant. Um, without it, the acrylics they just dry too quick. But uh, mix this 50-50. Um, and you get a, well, as you can see, it looks like oil paint consistency. Um, and then you just put a little blob on there. And then you can um, drag it down. Just using a moist brush, not wet. Uh, yeah, and just play around with it as if it was oil. It's, it's great. No smell. <laughs> And you can wash your brushes in water so that you, your brushes are going to last longer. Did it wrong. Have another go. This is the first time I've tried this uh, glue and pigments. Uh, it seemed to work quite well. Um, you've got quite a bit of control over where you want the mud to go, like this. Just do a little bit at a time. brush of cut down so it's very stiff um, and it, it'll rub the pigments into the paint um, I mean they'll come off again if you you know moisten them but uh, they won't fall off and uh, they look quite a good nice dusty effect for mud on this um, just more of a sort of a dusty road look really
this little bit. Just highlight the tracks here with the, with the pencil. Looks great. Really looks like metal. Yeah, so it's a nice kit. As I say, the the barrel, um, it's easily got over. Or well, you could buy a metal one, I guess. Um, and the, the grills are the most annoying thing about it. But, um, yeah, there's the finished article. I read somewhere that the wire cutters um, are made of Bakelite. Uh, I don't know whether that's right or not, but I like doing them red. They add a nice little um, touch of colour to the model. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.